Okay, in our tenth question, we've got a Venn diagram problem. We have all this information about three kinds of defects. We found in a sample of 1,000, there were 31 with a type A, 37 with a type B, 42 with a type C, 11 having both A and B, 13 both B and C, 10 with both A and C, and 6 with all three types of defect. And we're going to try and draw a Venn diagram to represent these data. Um, now, we always start in the middle where we have all three because that makes life easy we can write that one straight in so let's label our bits of the end diagram so this is going to be group defect A and we're going to put defect B on this side and we're going to put defect C over here and we know that six happened to all three now let's look at type A and B there is eleven defects altogether for them We've already got six in that group of A and B, so therefore in the rest of it, just A and B only, there'll be five more. So five plus six gives us the eleven for the A and B overlapping. So similarly we can do the B and C, which had thirteen. So B and C thirteen was here, so that must mean seven in there. And then the A and C overlapping section here. The A and C overlapping section has 10, so that must make 4 here. Now we're just going to look at what we get in A. A had 31, so take all these values away from 31, and we are left with 16. 4 plus 6 is 10, plus 5 is 15. 15 away from 31 leaves us 16. In B, we have 37 defects. So again, 11, 7, 18, take that away. I just check that again. I've got 6, 7 is 13, plus 5 is 18. Take that away from 37. That will leave us 29, 19 defects down here. And then let's go to type C. We've got 42 in here. So 42 in this section, we've got 4 plus 6 is 10. Take that off, that leaves us with 32 take off another 7 leaves us with 25 in this section. So we now want to find out how many there are outside here with no defects. So let's add these all up. We know there are 31 in A. Let's just check we add these all add up correctly to make sure we got it right. So it gives me 20, 26 plus 5 is 31. So it's quite likely we got that right. Add on the 9 gives me 40, 50. Add on the 7, 57. Add on the 5 will give me 62, add on the 2 gives me 82 so therefore we've got 82 away from 1000 we got 900 and 18 without any defect so we want to find the property there are no defects so probability of no defects is equal to 918 or out of 1000 or 0 0.918 right, I'm just going to get ourselves a bit extra space to work out the rest so no more than one of these defects so no more than one of these defects well there is just A so it's only one defect and there is 19, there's only one defect and there's 25, there's only one defect and okay, we're going to add those onto here because obviously 918 is certainly no more than one of these defects so we're going to add on the 16 to that so add on the 10 first gives you 928 add on the 6 gives you 934 add on the 20 gives you 954 add on the 5, 959 Add on this 10 gives you 969, add on the 9 gives you 978. So, probability no more than one. What did I say? Was it 968? I think I've forgotten. We'll check that in a second to make sure I haven't got it right. So, probability we've got no more than one. So, no more than one defect. A D for defect. 
Okay, let's just check that. Well, the easiest way I think is to add up these and take them away from a thousand actually. Ten, five, fifteen, plus another seven it gives me twenty-two. Twenty-two, actually, it's nine hundred and seventy-eight, isn't it? So nine hundred seventy-eight out of a thousand, which gives us naught point nine seven eight. Okay, let's look at D. Find property that it was a type B defect. Property. I said one had only one defect, so we know that it's only one defect, and we want to find the property that it, it was a type B defect. So if we're in this region here, only one defect for the B lot. We're going to be in this region here, only the one defect of the A lot, and in this region here. Only the C. So only one defect is going to be 16 plus 25. So that gives me what? 3141 plus the 9 gives me 50, 60. So the 60 with only one defect. And we want to find the property that it was a type B. So we want type B given that it was only one defect. and we know there were 60 and we got 19 out of 60 is the probability there for part D. Now two different articles were selected at random for sample find the probability that both had type B defects. Two different articles were selected at random from this sample find the probability that both had type B defects so the probability we had a type B defect was 37. Okay, so probability B followed by by B. Now in the first one we've got 37 with type D B defects out of a thousand, and we want to times that by what the second one will be. Well, we've already taken one B. Out, so there'll only be 36 B's left and that will be out of 999 items. So let's call up our calculator to work this out. So here's our calculator and we're going to do th fraction 37 over 1000 times 36, oops, let's, we've got to put the fraction in, let's put the fraction button in again, 36 over 999 equals, and that gives you it as a fraction, 1 over 750, uh, I'm just going to convert it into decimal, that's 1.3 recurring times 10 to the minus 3, which gives us, as an answer, that means it's going to be equal to naught point, naught Naught one three three and it's recurring, and that is our answer. That's the probability that both of the two different articles selected at random from this sample both had type B defects.